So, you would like to install Skyrim Virtual Reality Mods. How do you do it? Well, it's pretty simple. So first things first, if your Skyrim's installed on your C drive, you're going to want to change that. So the way you know, go ahead and go into Steam, right click this shit, properties, go to local files, and it'll you'll see which drive it's on right here. The reason you want to move it off your C drive is because there's some weird security stuff with some mods that you just, you just don't want this game on your C drive with all the mods you'll be installing. The extremely essential mods you'll be installing. Now if you don't have another drive, that's fine I guess. But if you have the option, change it. So next you're going to need a mod manager. Go ahead and click the link in the description, I'll just link it. And you'll come to this page. You're gonna go to files, go down a little bit. Uh, you can either get the archive version or the installer. I just get the installer version here. But if you happen to get the archive version, you're gonna want to have a program like 7-Zip or WinRAR. Just look it up, WinRAR, and there it is. <laughs> Click it. Find what system you have. You probably have X64 click it download it so you download that slow download the reason I, I'm having you guys use mod organizer even if you're beginners just because I think mod organizer is probably the best mod organization tool there is for uh, Skyrim mods or just mods in general fuck vortex this shit's st stupid all right, you got the installer. Go ahead and run it. You gotta accept that. So, if you wanna free up space on your C drive or something, where I installed mine is, instead of it just installing it on your C drive, you got your other drives here. I installed it on my Z drive and I just made either you can make your own folder and put it in or if you just select the Z drive you can press OK and it'll make its own folder Never mind. So what I would do is you have to make a new folder so I just say yep there's th this is my folder I'm already using so I'll just press okay I'll just press OK, but it'll make it'll make a folder for you if you just press make new folder. Press OK. Next. You want all this stuff. And then next. If you want a desktop shortcut. Great one. And then if I'm not gonna click install because I've already installed it. So but you click install. And then it'll open up. It'll open up and it'll look like this and then you create a new instance and you can just name it like your name or something stupid okay and then either it'll find your game for you which is pretty easy which it'll it'll most likely do if, but if it doesn't just, you know browse if you installed it on your C drive you go to C x86 for steam holy shit steam steam apps uh, common that will be skyrim vr but if you install it somewhere else <clears throat> on your own on a different drive just the same thing find steam vr and then select that folder And you're pretty much set up to install mods right out of the get-go but if you still want to save space on your main drive then you can actually change your mod directory so if you go to the settings and then you go to paths and then you have your base directory here 
I don't know why mine's set to here. I thought I changed it a while ago, but you'd click that. You'd either keep it the same if you're not going to change it or go to the drive you want it. You're going to make a file and then called mods or something. I made mods, just some mods folder. Should it have mods in it? Select, press OK. Yes. And then you're golden. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to install the Skyrim script extender because pretty much most of the mods you'll be using are going to need this. So, you just type in SKSE, or I guess I can link it to if you don't want to. Type in SKSE, click it, and then you're always going to want to make sure you install the build of your version. So, or the file of your version of Skyrim you're running. So, the current VR build, there it is, you click that, and there it is. Go ahead and open that. And this is where you need to go back to your Skyrim VR folder. So wherever you installed that thing, you're then going to open up. And if I were you, I have mine pinned to my quick access, quick access here. So just go ahead and you do it too because you're probably going to be in this folder a lot <clears throat> and then see so you open it here you're going to click and drag this stuff into this folder just like that and I've already installed it so it says this I shouldn't say that for you but yep so there you go now you have SKSC installed, but you're going to want to also do this. So go back to the mod or organizer, edit. You don't have it here, so you want to click the, the plus thing, and then do add from file, then go back to your Skyrim VR folder, and then click the SKSC VR loader, open up. And then it should be good. And then when you run the game, you should probably run it from the mod manager here. Alright, now that you got all your stuff set up, let's install our first mod. So mod you're probably going to get right away should just be Sky UI. The original Skyrim UI is horrible, so you should definitely get this. Now, whether you want to install all your mods manually or through the mod manager is up to you. I'm going to recommend installing them manually just because, well if you have I'm just going to recommend installing them manually only because you might mess up your game a lot and if you can just do clean just clean save to Skyrim uninstalling it or just completely uninstalling your mod manager sometimes you'll still have those mods and you won't have to re-download all of them. For me since I have slow internet I like to manually install them. But if you have like kick-ass internet, I guess you, you probably don't worry about this as much. But either way, <clears throat> if you click download with the manager and for some reason it doesn't start downloading, first you'll have to go to your downloads tab right here and it should show up right here. But if it's not, go to your settings, go to Nexus, and you actually need to log in to Nexus somewhere uh, 
the more right. Yeah, you would click connect to Nexus and then associate with download with manager links. And then you need to click this and then it should it should work. But I'm gonna go ahead and manually download it. And we when these additional files come up, if it says SKSC64, we already downloaded that. But with a lot of other mods, they will require other mods for the base mod to work. So you're just going to want to open some of those if you don't have those mods. So if you did what we did before, so like I said before, if you made a mods folder on your external drive or something, you can then put this in here so you're, you'll have it. And then if you delete this from your actual downloads here, you'll actually just free up some space. But then to actually install, if you're doing it manually, if you installed it from the manager, just double click it here when it says done download it and it'll install. But if you're doing what I'm doing, you'll open this and you, you should go to your mods folder where you put that mod. Oops. And then do that, press OK check mark it and there you go you also installed your first mod and I would recommend installing only a few mods first before you get started and running it to make sure your game actually works because if you just install like 20 mods and there's a problem and your game won't launch and this and that you're not gonna go what the hell is causing that problem you're probably gonna write a forum on Nexus forums and no one's gonna respond to you and then you're never going to play the game again because how annoying it is to mod this game. Have fun. Well, if you need any help, I guess you can comment. So guys, please, YouTube says only 25% of you are actually subscribed. Please subscribe. <laughs>